Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Park Shala's video series where mysteries of new age technologies are unlocked and real world secrets revealed. We welcome you to join us and empower your career in cloud and DevOps with our comprehensive online courses where you learn the leading and on-demand technologies like AWS, Terraform, Ansible, GitHub, Jenkins, Docker, and Kubernetes. Today in this video, we would be doing a deep dive into what is slash etc slash resolve.conf in our Linux file systems. The slash etc slash resolve.conf file is a configuration file on the Linux or Unix like operating system that specifies how the system should resolve host names to IP addresses. It is used by the domain name system DNS resolver which is the component of the operating system responsible for converting host names such as www.google.com into an IP address such as 172.217.3.174. The slash etc slash resolve.com file contains information about one or more DNS servers that the system should use to resolve the host names. This information is usually provided by the network administrator or automatically configured by the network manager of the operating system. Each line in the slash etc slash resolve.com file specifies a different DNS server. The most common line in the file is name server which is followed by the IP address of a DNS server. For example, name server space 8.8.8 .8 would represent the Google's DNS server which is located at IP address 8.8.8 .8 as the name server. The slash etc slash resolve.conf file is read every time the system needs to resolve a host name. So changes to the file takes effect immediately. If there are multiple DNS servers specified in the file, the system will use them in the order they are listed. If the first server fails to respond, the system will try the next server in the list and so on. You can add a manual entry in the slash etc slash resolve.com to specify a custom DNS server or to override the default DNS server. To add a manual entry, you need to have a root access to the system. In order to do that, you need to open the slash etc slash resolve.conf file with a text editor such as nano or vi and add a new line with the name server directive followed by the IP address of the DNS server you want to use. Syntax is similar to what we already saw in the example earlier which would be name server space and the IP address of the DNS server. Let's look at a practical demo on how we can look at the slash etc slash resolve.conf in a detailed manner. For this I would SSH into my local server or the local VM. Now that I have logged into the VM I would elevate my privileges. Once I have elevated the privileges let's do a cat for etc resolve.conf to see what are options that we have. You would see that name server is pointing to the IP address 127.0.0.53. Now this is one of the IP servers which is available on the internet. We could check that by doing a ping to this server of this IP address and we would get the following output. Now what we can do is use the dig command to see if google.com is resolvable from that IP address or not. So the dig command would give you the following output wherein we are getting the DNS value for google.com as 142.250.196.46. If you see the query took 35 milliseconds and the server which gave the output was 127.0.0.53 which is 
the public DNS server that we had by default. What we can also do is add a manual entry into the resolve.conf wherein I could I would comment the existing line and then I would add a new line for the DNS server saying 8.8.8 .8 I'll save the changes I'll do a cat for the etc resolve.conf to see if the changes have been effective or not and now if I clear the screen and do a dig for google.com I would get the following output here you see that for google.com I'm getting the IP address 142.250.195.238 and this time the query took 75 milliseconds and the server from which the DNS resolution was queried is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. I could change the name server back to 127.0.0.53 and if I do a dig you would find that I'm getting a different IP address that is 142.250.196.46 and this is pointing to the this is being queried from the server 127.0.0.53 so as you see both the servers have a different IP address associated for google.com and the good thing is both the IP addresses are valid. So you see that the curl for HTTP 142.250.195.238 is giving us the 301 page move to www.google.com. If I do the same curl for the other IP address which is the one ending with 46, I should be getting a similar output from this as well. There was a typo in the protocol that we were using. So this is HTTP and you would see both the IP addresses are giving us a similar output that is www.google.com and the page is being moved to this thing. So this is about slash etc slash resolve.conf in detail. Now let's take a very quick example of the etc resolve.conf in a cloud based server wherein I would go into my cloud instance which is there on the internet. I would SSH into the server. Now once I SSH into the server, I would elevate my privileges and this time clear the screen, do a cat for etc resolve.conf you would see that the IP address this time is a different IP address. Now this IP address is 10.14.0.0. Now this IP address is not a public IP address but a private IP address. Now this IP address is actually coming from the subnet and this is the IP which is responsible for giving us the DNS queries on our AWS subnet. To understand more about it, you could refer to the subnet documentation in the AWS and you would find that. So as you see in the documentation, it clearly says that the third IP address in the VPC is always reserved for the DNS server. AWS by default reserves five IP addresses of which the first IP address is the network address. The second is reserved for the VPC router. The third one is reserved by AWS, which is the IP address that I see on the screen. If I do a dig for google.com, I would be getting this output. And if you see, this output is totally different from the output that we were getting earlier from the query that we did on our local server or the local VM that we have on our virtual box. Now as you see we have many other options that are available in the slash etc slash resolve.com they being search options and name server. So let's try to understand what these options are in a brief manner. So as you have seen in addition to the name server directive, the slash etc slash resolve.conf file may also contain other directives that provide 
additional information about the DNS resolution process. They being domain, which specifies the default domain name to use for the host name resolution. For example, if the domain name is example.com and you try to resolve the host name demo, the system will try to resolve the thing as demo.example.com. Similarly, search specifies the list of domains to use for the hostname resolution separated by spaces. The system will try to resolve hostnames using each of the domain in the list until it finds a quick match. Whereas options specifies various options for the DNS resolver such as the maximum number of retries that it has to do, the timeout value or the method of resolving the host names. Also, there is something called a sort list which specifies the list of IP address ranges and their associated subnets used to control the order in which the DNS resolver tries to resolve host names. Ultimately, we have name server which we already have been looking into. Now, this is a typical example resolve.conf which is something similar to what we already see in the resolve.conf configuration on EC2 instance. Here, search means it is going to search for anything dot ap south1.compute.internal the options say that the timeout value should at least be one second and the number of attempts that it has to take or do before it fails is five so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and it gives you a deeper understanding of what slash etc slash resolve.conf file is in the linux file system please like and share this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching keep having a great day thank you bye bye